Jabble on his playhouse, hip hip hooray. It's Jabble on his playhouse, won't you come in and stay? It's Jabble on his playhouse for all the girls and boys. It's Jabble on his playhouse with all the world's joys. Hello boys and girls, welcome to another episode of Jabulani's Playhouse. I'm Jabu and that's Lani. Hi boys and girls, thanks for joining us again. Today we're going to finish completing our smart vehicle backhoe truck. It's going to be lots of fun when it's done, isn't it Jabu? It sure is Lani. And without further ado, let's get the mommies and daddies to come and help finish making it so you and we can, can start to play with it. How does that sound? Oh yay, Jabu, that sounds like a lot of fun. I can't wait. Will it be over soon? I think it will be not too soon, not too long, because the mummies and daddies are going to work hard for us, aren't they? Yay, yes they are, Jabu. As you can see, boys and girls, this is where we are so far. We've put the cab on the front of the truck, and the wheels are on, and we're getting pretty close to the end. Here's our instructions again. We're going to start with number 11 and work through 12 to 15. This is where it's going to start getting a little bit tricky when we finish this piece. This piece is going to go over here, like so, and we're going to join it. with one of these pieces and it's going to be on the third piece here so let's start with this one first let's have a look at the front the front will give us a picture we can see it better there we go Okay. And then we need not a very long uh, screw, but this one goes through there like so. Whoopsies. Mummies and their daddies are sure having a hard time with it, aren't they, Jubble? They are. Lani, it's a little tricky for the mummies and the daddies. There we go. Let me put one of these through here. And then this piece will go in here, like so. Whoopsies. And we need to put a little screw on there, a little nut on the bolt, right? That's right, Jabu. Keep it in order and we'll tie it up, tighten it with a wrench. leave that there like that and then maybe with our screwdriver we can tighten it a little better fit it through there aha that's pretty good aha nice and tight wow Jabu that's a pretty good job Let's have a look. So that looks about right, doesn't it? I think so. Hard to tell if it's supposed to get attached to the other side, but we'll have to wait and see. Now we attach the other pieces. 
So now it's time for the bumper to go on the back. It's going to go on over here, like so. Whoopsie. And then, from this piece, we're going to take a long bolt and put it through one of these. Do the same. There we go. Do the same with the other one. One of these goes through. Whoops. Made a bit of a mistake, Lani. Why, Jabu? What happened? Well, we've got to go through here first, see? We have to fit through one of these. And then it goes through. Like that and like that. And then it goes through these yellow pieces. Whoops. Like so. And like so. Let's have a look again at the the front picture is easier to see. There we go. So it's going to be a little bit tricky. Need to put maybe if we do the one at a time might be easier. What do you think? I think it might be right, Jabu. There we go. This is a little tricky. Not much space to work with here. We need a little nut again. Put that on like so. We'll put that there to keep it in place. And we'll tighten it up from this side. There we go. This one is not as tight. Come apart a bit better. There we go. There we go. It's looking good now, isn't it, Lani? Looking really good, Jabu. Okay. Put this piece through here. Because that piece has to go in the middle, doesn't it? Jabu, maybe that wasn't the best way to do it. Well, I think the mummies and the daddies are trying the best they can. So let's see what they can do. Aha. There we go. Good job, mommy and daddy. the wrench to keep it placed like that and we'll tighten it with this one. Now we'll move on to number 13. We're starting to build the backhoe part, right? Almost finished. Wow, Jabo is coming along really good. Mommies and daddies are doing a great job. Bring our pieces closer for us to see, so we can see how we're working on. It's 
So the shorter pieces have to join the longer pieces, it looks like, like this. See how that looks. We'll do one side at a time. And it clips through here so that it's going to create a little piece like that, see? I see, Jabu, that looks pretty good. And we'll take a little bolt, screw, fit it through all three layers here. If we can, a little tricky. And the one, there we go. And another little nut. You need small fingers here, Jabu, don't you? I think you do, Lani. That's right. Small fingers will sure help, Lani. There we go, I think Mommy's and Daddy's got it now. We can use the wrench to tighten it, perhaps. Not too tight, because this will probably need to swivel a little bit. There, that looks pretty good. And then we do... Whoops, we made a mistake. Aren't we silly? What did you do, Jabu? Well, the mommies and daddies put the two short pieces together. That's not how it's supposed to go. You need a short piece and a long piece, you see. Oh, <laughs> silly mommies and daddies. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> mommies and daddies are very silly. So we'll have to start again. There we go, I think that's how it's supposed to look. So now we can tighten it, but not too tight. There we go. That's pretty good. Now we do the other side. Jabu, you know what? What's that, Lani? I think it would help if these little nuts were magnetized like I've seen some of them are. Oh, I know. I think it would help a lot. I think it would help the mummies and the daddies quite a bit. There we go. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Sure does, Jabu. That's number 13 finished, and now we move on to number 14. Well, Jabu, we're almost finished. Just one more to go. Put this one in first. It goes on the long part here. It goes with a long screw or bolt through like that and then again another little nut on the end can tighten it here Yeah, that digger part's looking really good, isn't it, Lani? Sure is, Jabu. And then we take the small part here. And it goes in between these two pieces. And 
and it needs two little pieces here. One through like that with a little nut on the end. Then another one on the other side, a little tricky, see not much space to get this nut in. Well Jabo, it's very tricky for mommies and daddies. This is where the boys and girls will be lucky with their little fingers, won't they? That'd be better, right? I think you're right, Lani. Doing a good job. Now we need to do number 15. The last one. And then this is how it will look then, right? So this goes on top here. And we've run out of a little longer piece we need. I'm not sure where we did it though. Aha. Uh -huh. I think the chair we used the longer piece that we didn't need. Perhaps we'll have to take this out here. And Daddy's made a bit of a mistake, didn't they, Jabo? They did, Lani. It happens, though, because sometimes the instructions are difficult to read, right? That's right. This seat is too long. The bolt on the seat is too long. I think it's supposed to be a short one. Like this one. See? That's shorter than the other one. I see, Jabu. That makes sense. We can slip it back in here. Whoops. There we go. Then we need to put the bolt back on him. 
a little nut on the bolt. It's a little more difficult when you've already made it to do it again, isn't it? There we are. That looks better. Now we can get back to where we were. Putting this one on here. But first we need this little piece here to go in between, like so. And then the big screw goes in through here. Maybe we should do one thing at a time. Hey, mummies and daddies, I think you're right, little Jabu. There, that's better. And then this piece up here. And then perhaps this piece. And then this piece. And then this bottom piece here, and then all of that goes on the bottom here, see? This is tricky too. You need to put this little piece in there somehow. This is where having small little fingers are helpful. So mommies and daddies are having a bit of a difficult time. There we go. I think we can do it now. Just tighten it up. There we have it. Pew. See how it works? It's a great little toy. Took us a long time to build it, didn't it, Lani? Sure did, Jabu. But it's a good digger now. Pew. See how it can dig up? Wow, it's great. Wow, that was fun. That sure was worthwhile waiting for. And there we have it. That's our new digger. We finally built it with the help of the mommies and the daddies. You can tighten up a little bit of extra places here to make it secure in there. That was quite a big puzzle piece, wasn't it, Lani? Sure was, Jabo. How many pieces did was this all together? Let's have another look at the the booklet and see. Oh wow, 151 pieces. Construct fantastic models with your assembling kit. We did it. it looks like it, doesn't it, Jabo? Sure. It looks like it, doesn't it, Lani? Sure does, Jabu. Look, there it is. We built it. With the help of the mommies and the daddies. That's right. That was fun. And we even got an extra screw and a bolt, bolt left. There you go, boys and girls. 
sure took mommies and daddies a little bit of time, but we finally finished building our smart vehicle backhoe truck. Isn't it cool? I think it's very cool, Lani. It looks wonderful. Thank you, mommies and daddies. You did a great job. And now we can go play with it if we can dig in the sand with a backhoe? Yeah, we sure can. I'd love to do that. Shall we go? Okay. We'll be going outside, boys and girls, to play in the sand with our new backhoe truck. Did you find that interesting? Do you have a little truck like this that you built? I hope they have, Jabu, because it's been a lot of fun. Until next time, boys and girls, remember to eat your veggies and brush your teeth. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. See you next time.